Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, Christmas is around the corner, which is like tomorrow, Christmas Eve. Um, so I wanted to create a easy holiday glam kind of look, um, and this was my take on it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna name this because I already did like an easy classic holiday glam. I believe it was, yeah. But it was like different tones. But if you guys want to see how I achieved this look right here, then do you know what to do and just keep on watching. Hi guys and welcome back. So for today's video, um, it's gonna be a different background just for this video because I am in the process of moving right now. So once this video goes up, I'll, I should have my little setup up again. Um, so for today's video, I did want to get a video up before Christmas. Um, I want to try to get about two looks up. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But for today's look, it's going to be something simple. It can be like a classic kind of holiday glam. And to achieve that, I'm going to be taking the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. And this is the only palette that I'm going to be using for today. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is this Beat Bella NG329 brush. And I'm going to go ahead and take Bomb Diggity. I went, I went ahead and I set and primed my eyes already. So, so I'm going to take Bomb Diggity and with this one I'm going to kind of just focus this all over the crease. So I'm first focusing it on the outer corner and then I start to flick it out and then bringing it into the crease. So again, since I'm only going to go in with two colors, I do want to kind of uh, pack this color on pretty pretty heavy. And I kind of want to do like a spotlight kind of look, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take that same color and then just apply it to the inner corner. And hopefully you guys can see just that I have to put, because I don't have like my tripod or anything with me, so I have to put the camera kind of far and I have to zoom in a lot. So hopefully you guys can still see me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a more kind of tapered brush and I'm going to take this Morphe M502 brush. And then I'm going to go in with that same palette and I'm going to take that shade Cray Cray. I take this, same thing, apply it to the outer and the inner portion, and then connecting it to the crease. So every time I want to do like a look like this, it never comes out because I either do it too brown or something. So hopefully this time it comes out. And then I'm going to go back in with that first brush that we use and then just to blend out all the edges. And then at this point, I'm just going to take a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a flat synthetic brush. I'm not going to carve it out too, too much, but I do still want to give it that nice defined look. Okay, so now we went ahead and we cut that crease. I'm gonna go in with the shade Scatterbrain. It's that gold shade from the Laura Lee palette. And I'm gonna apply that with my Morphe M422 brush. So I'm just gonna pack it onto the area where we didn't apply any shadow to, but we went ahead and we cut the crease. So taking a little bit of Cracker and I'm just going to start to diffuse the edges. So now that we're done with the eyes for now, I'm going to go ahead and take my Nature by Nature Flash Matte Perfecting Primer. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. So I did recently just pick up that product, so I'm going to have to go ahead and do a review on that i picked up that one and it came with a facial cleanser and a mask okay and then now for primer you guys are probably already know it's my frankie rose matte foundation oops oops and then taking my beauty blender I 
Now, to highlight and conceal, I'm going to go ahead and take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. And I'm just going to, you know, just like that. And then again, taking my Beauty Blender. And then now to go ahead and set my under eye, um, I like to first go back in and make sure everything is blended out, especially them creases, because you don't want to set them creases. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe E8 brush and the color Okie Dokie from the Laura, from the Laura Lee palette. And then now for bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and take this angled brush and I'm going to go ahead and take my, you know, what it is, my Hula Benefit bronzer. And then what I like to do if I bring down the bronzer right here like too far down then i just go back in with my my beauty blender and kind of just you know and now for highlight i'm gonna go ahead and take my becca skin perfecting highlight in this shade opal with my Mor morphe with my morphe m5 what m m510 yeah And then starting to finish off the look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this pointed detailed brush from Beach Cosmetics. And I'm going to take Cray Cray. And I'm just going to apply that to the entire bottom lash line. And I'm going to apply this shade pretty heavily because I don't know why every time I put shadow on the bottom lash line, it tends to fade away the fastest. So now we have that color down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this Be Bella RG215 and I'm going to take Bomb Diggity. And then I'm just going to sweep that across the entire thing, blending it in with Cray Cray. And then just connecting it to the outer corner. Okay, so when I have and I applied my lashes already, the lashes that I applied are the Makeup Shack Style in Dubai. And now for lips, since it is the holidays, I'm going to go ahead. I've never actually tried this brand, but I picked this. I received this when I went to Beautycon. Um, they were, like, gifting it if you took a picture with Laura and if you tag them or if you follow them on Instagram. So, this is the Real Her Liquid Lipstick in Lady Lip Matte. So, it's like a red color. Hopefully, this one is red because I don't really have, it like, any red red tones. So, we'll go ahead and see. So I really like how this lip came out, so that's pretty much it for this entire video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That's pretty much all I have to say, and I'll see you guys in the next one.